Hey, what's up guys? Trex here, back with another episode of Trex Plays. This time, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Terraria, but it's not going to be a Let's Play episode, or a tip video, or a guide. It's actually going to be me touring some of my old worlds uh, that I have that I have on Terraria now, and that I used to have that I fished off my old computer, along with some old characters, and um. I do sound a little bit different in this video, uh, and I'm kind of not able to form words properly. I've got a cold right now, and it's kind of hard for me to talk, but I really want to get this video out because I'm pretty excited for it. But my voice will sound different, and I'm going to be sniffling, but I'll try to be away from the microphone when I sniffle. Uh, I'm also going to be needing to drink some water. That'll be on camera. That'll, you'll be able to hear that, but it's just a drink of water. So, yeah, let's dive in. The first world we're going to, or the only world we're going to go to today, because I couldn't find any other ones, is, um, we're going to go to the Epic of Asgard, which is a server I used to host with my friends. Nero? Oh, I didn't know I still had this guy. But, um, anyways, guys, uh, we've got Alex here, um, Jason, and, uh, I think it was Sean. Those were the characters we had before, and I found all these characters off my old computer. There's Nero, there's Kobe, there's Josh, there's Jensei, uh, there's Jason, who's the cheaty character, there's um, Blue, who's got Cobalt Armor, and then there's Angrod the Elf. And to get into character for this episode, we're going to play as Angrod the Elf because I used that character uh, when I hosted the server to play on the server. And, um, we may actually tour Season 1 Let's Play, but we're going to look at Epic of Asgard with Angrod the Elf because that was my character. So, it's loaded in, and right off the bat, you know, I'll just turn off the map. Actually, I'll keep it on. This was my house for the Epic of Asgard. I don't know why I had this phase blade around, I just did. But uh, this was my house. It was pretty nice. There's This is the restaurant down here. This is the required attire. Uh, I thought this was really clever when I made it. Bones in the trash can. Yeah. There's a smithy, and then over here is the bank, and there is Luxa, who's my sister, uh, Xander, who's my friend, Enderman Killer, or GamerGuy926, there's Lexi, who's my other sister, and Lytorius, who's my friend's older brother. Um, then here's all the crafting, and the bedroom, and recreation area with piano, and then the storage room. So we all play this together. Uh, it was quite fun, actually, and we all had a really good time. We built this pool. So this was the city of Asgard. Um, at first, I didn't know that Asgard was also the name of the mythical realm of the gods from Thor and Viking or Norse mythology. But uh, we had this pool here, and there's the low diving board and the high diving board. And we would always just jump off and have the deep end and the little ladder to climb out. Uh, NPCs had special houses, sometimes um, there would be one in a house, sometimes it would be multiple. Uh, but here's the mechanic, there should be someone there, I think. I don't know, I'll just put the die trader there if he'll fit. Yes, he will, because the die trader arrived earlier, and the painter's here for some reason. But, um, the city, it's all stone with street lamps and stuff. Here's my house. We're going to go to the left first, and then we're going to go to the right. So... Right here, this sign marks the end of the city limits. And then we come over here to this bridge over this lake. And we are very proud of this when we made it. Actually, I made it, and I'm still very proud of it. I think it looks very good. If I if I had some fences, and if this had been... Um, well, this was pre-1.2, so there weren't fences. It would look even better. But I'm very proud that it goes over this lake. Uh, up here is a block deposit where you can get some blocks. Uh... This was our to build list. This was my sister's house. I believe this was Lexi was her name. Uh, work starts at 7.30, so I used to work for her, but we had all these blocks. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be an RPG server. We were planning on opening it to the public, but it never took off. So she has like a restaurant, crafting area. I don't really get it, but some rooms for people to stay in and stuff. There's a ton of archeologist hats in this map, uh, which is kind of weird. But, moving on, that was Lexi's house, I believe. Yeah, because my sister always went by the name Lexi for her Terraria characters. Uh, if we continue over there... Oh, I s just skipped over this like it was nothing. But, uh, this was my sister's greenhouse. And since we haven't played on it for so long, it's all overgrown. And there's one flower holding there. How did that star get in there? 
I was just like, oh, Fallen Star, but then I realized that it couldn't have gotten in there. How did, okay, the world may never know. But this was her greenhouse, and it's quite overgrown because we haven't played on this in ages. Now, I do not know what this is. This is my, let's see here, I was maybe 11 or 12 when we played this, and now I'm 14. Oh, my voice is going, better get a drink. There we go, I'm back. Um, this came from the 11 or 12 year old version of my my mind, Ugh, and which I've lost, apparently. But um, I wanted to make a giant mountain with an unpassable part, and then I'm, I was going to build like a Japanese temple up here. But it turned into this really quite bad mountain attempt. I got a zombie arm, wow. So, excuse that, it's it's my 11-year-old or 12-year-old self at work. Now we go up here. This was my friend, uh, GamerGuy926's house. His uh, in-game name was Xander. He was like a woodcutter slash miter guy. And he, this house is really gorgeous. I really like this house. Uh, remember, this was pre-1.2, so he couldn't put torches on the walls. That's what these are for. But, um... He had this very nice looking house, and he had this little sort of cellar, which is perfect. It has the stone wall and the low ceiling, and just like the candle, and that really ties it over. Then you come down here, and he's got a little restaurant slash man cave um, down here even more. And here's his storage room, and then his little greenhouse down here, and this looks like his crafting room. Uh, so, yeah. Now... He usually didn't like people going down here since most of it was his personal stuff, except in here. But now that we don't run the server anymore, and um, it's just a regular world I have stored on my hard drive, I can do whatever I want. Um, I hope he doesn't take offense to that. But then he had this little outdoor furnace. I guess this was supposed to be like a smokehouse, maybe, for barbecue. Because like, this was an RPG server, remember? Ooh, Cardinal, I, or Blue Jay, I could catch you, but I'll kill you. Ooh, and a birdie. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now, over here is one of the best things I think we've ever built. Um, coming right up is, if, if I'm not mistaken, it should be, yes, a basketball court. We built a basketball court, um, and we were very proud of this, and it is very, very fun, actually. I'm thinking about making a things to do in Terraria basketball and putting it on the AH Community Hunter channel. Um, but... The goal of basketball was to, let me just remove my flight equipment, yeah, okay. So like, there's the three, so, oh, I actually made that, then that you could like lay up, but we used fire flowers because that would send a projectile, a ball-like projectile, and it would bounce, and I don't know how we thought up of this, but you've got to admit, and not to brag, but this is actually really quite brilliant. Uh, I think I made this, um, but... It's quite brilliant. Here's the half court, then the threes, and then the baskets. And it's actually kind of easier to sink a three than it is to make a, a field goal. Let's see here. If I can, yep, there we go. But um, I, I'm very, very proud of this. We had a piggy bank here. Oh, wow, I got a lot of gold. I'll put that fire flower back. Um, not fire flower, flower fire. Uh, totally not Mario related, by the way. Totally not Mario related. Wink, wink. Okay, I don't think there's too much more over here, but uh, we're going to look real quick and see. Oh, I did not fly. Oh, because I don't have my uh, boots on. I should probably put those on. Oh, yeah, this is just corruption Um, right here. Sorry about that sniffle. I'm going to get some water. There we go. Oh, yep. I was just about to say I hear one of those... Uh, Corrupting, corrupt worms chasing after me. Okay, climb this mountain. This was so much easier when I was just looking at the world real quick with uh, Alex. I didn't take anything. I just looked at the world because he had wings. What? What is this thing? Ah, a devourer. Yeah, that's it. Uh, there's not too, too much. I remember there's an ocean, and I think there's a, uh, a little outpost because there's a desert. Yeah, back when I used to play Terraria when I was younger, I would always build outposts with beds and a crafting table and uh, some chests, because I was a total noob back then. Like with Minecraft, I used to be afraid of going down into the mines and stuff, and I used to be a terrible um, at building, 
I'm still terrible at building, but I've gotten better. I really wish I'd kept my first Minecraft world. Uh, always keep your first Minecraft world. Uh, yeah, here's a dungeon outpost. But um, always keep your first Minecraft world. I really wish I kept mine. It was on a cracked version of 1.2.5. Uh, but now continuing on with uh, Terraria. Oh, and my first Terraria world, by the way, I built. I decided to build my house out of stone. And then I realized how hard it was to get a vast amount of stone when you were a noob. Uh, but I love that world. Anyways, on with the nostalgia. Um, this is my sister's house. This is Luke's house. Lexi's house is over there. They're kind of similar. Uh, bed and breakfast and restaurant. Um, except it's quite bare. There's some chests. But yeah. Oh, and we also always used to put platforms on the side so that we could climb up the wall. And now... So I designed this house right here, and I'm very, very proud of it. It looks very nice, and it looks quite realistic. It's the NPC house, for, and it houses three NPCs in a very little amount of space, and it still looks nice. So I'm very proud of this, as well as the basketball court that I built. And then there's this one, which is a tower. Oh, and we've got some notes here. Rules. Um, more rules. Some more rules. Gosh, there are a lot of rules. Oh, and the spawn cave. Yeah, we are like, don't mine anywhere inside the pink brick. And there's, like, nothing to mine inside the pink brick. But, uh, over here is a parkour course. And we are like, oh, this is so difficult at the time that we made it. But now, I'll, I'll show you it in a second. This is our parkour course. And it says, please remove all flight assistance and jump assistance. So if we go in, parkour, parkour, parkour. Woo, parkour. Yeah, it, it's quite, oh, I, I messed up. I messed up, guys. I messed up. I'm not perfect. <gasps> I already knew that. No one's perfect. Ah! It was that same jump! I did this almost flawless uh, when I was with Alex. I made it past this first part perfectly fine. No strings. Oh! Are you serious? Uh, maybe it's just because I'm recording. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Yeah. And grab the elf. Yeah. Swag. Okay, there we go. We made it down, and we made that drop just, just long enough so that it, it would, so that it was a long jump, and we could build this massive room, but it wouldn't hurt you. And there we go. We're done with the parkour. Now let's put our Spectre Boots back on. So this was just the community mines. There's not much to see, uh, or is there? Huh? But um, anyways, community mine. There's um, just mining and mining holes. But um, let's continue on. This was... Okay, good, he still lives here. I thought he disappeared. This is the arms dealer's house, and here's the end of the city limits right here. This is the uh, spawn, and this is where the guide lives. It's like the job hut, ask Anrod the elf, and the A on top is the crest of Asgard. It was silver surrounded by gold. Um, I still think it looks quite nice, but you will see it pop up again in this map. Uh, then in here is my man cave that I built. And got the elf's man cave permission needed to get in, so it's like no girls allowed. Continuing onwards. This is my friend, uh, this is our elevator, and, uh, but right after it is my friend Lytorius' house, um, who's my friend's older brother. That was his character. He's just kind of got a little restaurant and bar right here. He's quite a good builder. Um, then down here is his own personal area, some crafting, benches, tuxedo. Then you come down here. Ah, that bed. That bed. I always used to set my spawn point there, and it was so annoying. Ah, yeah, I'll just move the bed real quick and replace it. Like, there we go. And uh, so that was his room. Then he had this empty room for some reason. But uh, down here is the elevator. So uh, let's go down there. And watch out for that Crest of Asgard symbol again. Oh, oh yeah, this thing. This was originally supposed to be like a firing range. That's why there's bows and stuff, but kind of failed as th this entire server did. Oh, oh, I completely forgot about this. Oh, I just remembered this. This was an obsidian generator we were working on. Um, that's why there's glass coated around the outside. I don't know why we did that. Oh, and somewhere... I just remembered two things that I haven't, I didn't look at. Uh, there's the obsidian generator, and then somewhere around here is a fake underground jungle. Uh, I think we have to go through some of these pathways. Well, it's a little sketchy. Um, just ignore that. Okay. 
it was somewhere around here. Uh, I think it might be up there, possibly. Um, I know we built a fake underground jungle. I just don't know where. And that's always good to know where your fake underground jungle is. Okay. Uh, is it through here? No, it's not. But uh, this is kind of nostalgic for me, guys. And so, because I haven't played on this in forever except today, I was just like, ah, I'm going to look around this. Decided to re record it. But, um, anyways, this video is going to be unedited, by the way, because I don't have enough time to edit. Because I'm really tired and want to sleep. Uh, we've got one somewhere around here. I just don't know where it is. Oh, die, giant worm. But, yeah, there's some stuff that even I forgot, and I was the host of this server a while ago. But, uh, yeah. Continuing onwards, where is the elevator? Uh, I guess we can just go past the parkour. Possibly. Will you let me? There we go. There's a little stairway here. Let's go up here and fall down. Um, now look out for the Crest of Asgard again. There it is, there it is, there's the Crest of Asgard. And so you're like, oh, it's the Crest of Asgard in a dark area. Hmm, I wonder if it's back here. Uh, looks like just another cave, maybe. So people, like, turn away. But secretly, um, it's our secret council meeting room. And we're like, there's going to be five members of the council, and we're going to hold meetings here when the server's up and running. But... There were only five people on the server, so everybody was a council member. It wasn't very hidden, but it, it is actually quite nice, quite nicely hidden, because normally you won't be able to see it, just darkness. So, yeah, uh, there's a cave down here. Oh, maybe that's where the underground jungle is. But anyways, uh, you used to not be able to get through that uh, unless you grappled onto there, but now you can't get back through unless you grapple onto there, okay? So this is our little meeting room. We had uh, stuff in case we need to hunker in the bunker. We had uh, some cobalt shields, bows, harpoon. I don't know why we chose the lowest quality items. But uh, now let's go back out. And let's check down here, see if that underground jungle's down here. Let's see. Because I know we made one somewhere around here. And my voice is starting to go again. I'm so sorry about my cold, guys. It's not my choice. There we go. And this is kind of going to be a long video. It's going to be a pain to edit. Ah. Oh, are, are we near it? Are we? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Anyways, continuing on with it. It's just kind of a square that we coated with jungle grass, and it would spawn hornets. And there's a little farm inside. But continuing onwards, a uh, giant fall... I don't know if we ever found any floating islands. I mean, we probably did. There's probably a ladder somewhere leading to a harpy farm. Uh, what was that? Oh, it was just some silt. But, oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. He's dead now. Okay, continuing onwards, we're almost in hell. Okay, we should be about there any second now. And we are there. We have this little dropper right before the underworld. Then you'd come down here. Uh, come down. This is our underworld base. This was literally it. You'd set your spawn. And then you'd just go into the underworld. But um, there's not too much to show here. So let's go back. Oh, we're still in uh, Lytorius' house. Anyways, carrying on. We go up here. And over here... There's only, like, one or two things I remember. Um, yeah, here's the city park. It's like, don't chop down the trees. There's a world I used to play on with my sisters we called Teropolis, and it was an amazing world, but unfortunately it got deleted. Okay, so I think this is the last thing on this side. This is the, uh, the corruption, and I didn't want anybody going down it, uh, because I didn't want anybody sum summoning the Eater of Worlds, so it's all blocked off. It's not very exciting, it's just regular corruption. But, I don't- I think there's- something over here i can't remember so let's see if we can uh go over here yeah okay continuing onwards uh i know there's an ocean oh there's a jungle outpost and there's a random house right here yeah just a random house i think this was my sister's when she was camping out down here or something and then there's an outpost somewhere around here but what there's ducks Ducks? Uh, come back here, ducky! Come back! What do you drop? 
Share your secrets. Aw, I didn't know that there were ducks in here. Sweet. I haven't found any before. This is the first duck I've seen. Okay. Um, continuing on. There's a little desert and a desert outpost is somewhere along here. Uh, it should be right around here somewhere. Because I know we built all these outposts. And there's the jungle outpost. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I think that's it for this world. Yeah, it's the jungle outpost somewhere right around here. Uh, I can't remember where, but... Continuing on. It's pretty much here. Let's look at the map. Oh, yeah. There, there's not much beyond that. Uh, I mean, it looks like a lot, but we haven't really built that much. I, we were planning to, but we never did. But anyways, guys, that was it for, um... Uh, Epic Vasgard. If you liked this video and you want me to show off more old worlds like a uh, season one Let's Play or co-op with Fire Meets TNT, then just ask and I'll be sure to do it. And also we can look at my characters real quick. There's Blue, Jason. Oh wait, we already looked at these. But um, Nero was a cheat character, so I don't, I don't need him. But uh, I might actually play with some of these characters a little bit. Just mess around. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching that video on Terraria going around my old world. Uh, kind of a unique Terraria video, but anyways, we've got to proceed on with the outro. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. The game link will be in the description, like the website to the game, and then the Steam link will also be in the description. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.